Starting from the CHS website, click on the menu bar in the upper right hand corner, click on counseling, and click on course selection for 2021 2022. This page houses the videos and links necessary to complete the course selection process. On the top of the menu to the right are the general course selection resources. The first link is the graduation and colleges requirements comparison chart. We recommend referring to this chart as you pick classes that meet your graduation and college requirements. I will also refer back to this chart as we navigate through the course selection form. Next is the course description book. This provides detailed information with descriptions of each class offered at Claremont High School. Next is the CHS electives options spreadsheet. This is a quick reference guide to the elective offerings at Claremont High School. In the center is a link to the course selection office hours. This is an opportunity to talk with the counseling team and ask questions regarding your course selection for next year. Don't miss out on this opportunity to talk with your counselor. Since you are registering for your junior year, scroll down to the incoming juniors menu. The first link is the junior course selection form and all students must complete this form. The second link is the IB course planner form. This form should only be filled out by students wanting to enroll in the full IB Diploma program. Students interested in the full IB Diploma program should meet with Mrs. Sieg, our IB coordinator. More information on these meetings is available on the CHS homepage under the News section. The final link is the appointment scheduled by History class. Every CHS student will meet individually with their counselor. Appointments are scheduled in advance by history class. To see when your history class is scheduled for, review this document. This will occur outside of synchronous instruction, but you will attend the session with your current history class. Let's begin with the junior course selection form. When you click this link, you should see this part of the form. If you get a permissions restriction message, you will need to log in through your CHS Google account. We recommend that students use their school issued iPad to access this form as they will already be logged in with their school Google account. The links for the counselor office hours are provided first, along with the dates and times. The same resources we looked at earlier are also linked here. Brief statement about summer school, information for students with IEPs, and a link again to the International Baccalaureate Program uh, Planner form is also here. The first question you will be answering is your ID number. It is critically important that this is correct. This is how we will match you with our system to ensure that the courses you select are transferred into your planner for next year. Next is your last name, your first name, and your phone number. This is the student phone number. We want to be able to contact the student during the summer if we have any questions. If you have an IEP or 504 plan, you would designate that here. The next section is, is picking the post high school plan that you're interested in. You can pick more than one. Next, we ask you to select a start time. Following that is the start of your course selection, and it'll start with social science. This is the A requirement. Referring back to the course planner sheet, you need one year of world history, one year of US history, one semester of government, and one semester of econ to graduate. For colleges, it's one year of world history and one year of US history. US history, IB history, HL1, and AP US history all fulfill the one year of US history. Next is English. To graduate from Claremont High School, you need four years of English. That is true of college admissions as well. Junior English, IB English A1, HL1, and AP English Language and Composition all qualify for that year of English. Your next selection will be Mathematics. 
Claremont High School requires one year of Integrated Math 1 and one year of any additional math to graduate. For colleges, you must complete Integrated Math 1, Integrated Math 2, and Integrated Math 3. Counselors recommend students take math all four years of high school. For science, to graduate from Claremont High School, you must complete two years of science, one year of a physical science, and one year of a biological science. The same is true of colleges. We recommend students take at least three years of science. If you've selected an IB science but are not a full diploma candidate, we ask that you add an alternate science. This field does not need to be completed if you're not taking an IB science or if you are a full diploma candidate. The next section to complete is the world language section. To graduate from Claremont High School, you need one year of a world language or one year of a fine art or one year of a career technical education course. For college purposes, you need two years of a world language, but three years are recommended. If you do not want to take a third year of a world language or do not want to take a world language in your junior year, select the last option. By selecting that, you will be asked to complete two more elective choices. For electives, we ask that each elective choice you make is different than previous choices. If you are not taking a world language, you will be asked to select five elective choices, two to replace the world language and three for your regular electives. The first choice, primary elective choice, should be your first choice. Your alternate elective choices should be those courses that you'd be willing to take if you are unable to get your first choice. For more information about electives, we recommend looking at the course description manual and the elective spreadsheet on the CHS course selection website. Additional information that you need to let your counselor know can be added here. AVID and IB students will want to include information regarding their course schedule, including additional classes they need to take that they could not fit in the previous sections. Finally, read the statement here and click the accept button. Click submit and you've completed your course contract for 2021-2022.